Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Send me, send me these two objects. They're trying to do a lens effect. <clears throat> well, they are doing a lens effect. But then they wanted to put the crossbars in their drawing. And it said it's taking them forever. Uh, so I just kind of did one with uh, a bunch of crossbars in it. Let me, I got a little hiccup right there. And it's pretty easy to do. You know, that way, and this, this is actually an optical illusion. If you look at this thing, at least I do, uh, some of the circles uh, look like they're grayed out in the middle. But anyway, you design something like this. It's really kind of easy, but there's a few steps to save you a lot of trouble. And so we're going to kind of zoom into the center of the page, and we're going to draw a six-sided polygon. We're going to make that polygon one inch wide. That's a big factor to know that dimension. Now we're going to draw some ellipses. Doesn't really matter what size. And we're going to put them on the four corners or the six corners. Now you could actually do this by rotating them, and, but it doesn't take just a second. Just make sure you get them in those node spots because that's pretty critical. It'll actually tell you that it's on top of the node. And once you've done this, you're pretty much done with it, except for now we need to put in those center lines. And we're just using hair lines, and I'm going to go from that node to that node. I missed it, so I'm going to back up that node to that node, that node to that node. And see, this is doing all the work for you for future. Now we're going to work in hairlines because it makes it a little easier. We're going to control D and well, I'm going to, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to back up. I'm going to go control G to group it. Now, if you remember our polygon was one inch apart, but now look, it's 1.135. But when we control D, if we move our duplicate distance to one inch, when we control D this and move it over, our circles match. Control D, and then the more i found, the more you make uh, when you're going to do a lens effect, the cooler it looks if they're kind of smaller. <clears throat> now, the little bit more tricky part is moving it downhill, but once we move one, I'm going to show you a little trick, or hopefully. So I'm going to Control G to group this thing together. I'm going to Control D to duplicate it, and I'm going to move this one like right, it should just snap right to it. There's actually a mathematical way we could do this. And see, I'm, I'm, I'm that far off. There we go, I'm dead on. Now, if you hit it the first time, you could go control D and it would do it. But <clears throat> because now that we have uh, two copies and one of them is a spike where it's low, all we need to measure is from there to there. So let's get our parallel dimension tool and, and put it right on that node and go to that node. And we're at 1.37. So now let's take that away. We're going to change our nut distance to 1.37. Go ahead and group this together. And then nudge it down. Well, I didn't make a duplicate. Nudge it down. And see, now they're all perfectly aligned. Now, the other little trick is we want to make them. Let me move this out of the way. We're going to group this together. Control G for just a second. Hit P, put on the center of the page. Now, we want to make everything black, which is easy because we could just go black. But we want the, the circles to be solid. So we're going to use our friend find and replace. Let me just delete all this because we're going to need that side of the screen. So we're going to go to find and replace. And really and truly, it's easier to, if you want to keep these, what I would suggest doing is select them, right-click, Select them all, right-click, 
copy and open a new page and put them in that new page. And then they'll be there. So now we can delete all these so they won't interfere with find and replace. So now we're going to go to edit, find and replace. We're going to zoom in here. And we need to ungroup this for a second. And then we're going to select that ellipse and go from selection. Find all. Control G. Then we're going to set our nudge factor on like 20 inches. And we're going to find all the, we don't have to move them out of the way, but it's a better demonstration to move all the circles out of the way. Now we can left click fill in black and right click no, no outline. So now we have black dots. Then we can take the lines and make them whatever thickness we want in black. If we want them a little bit thicker, I think they're a hairline right now. Uh, let's make them two point. That looks pretty good. Now we can move our dots back and group everything, control G. Now we'll get out the lens effect, go to effects, lens, too many objects selected. I need, I need to draw my circle. You don't want to do that. So draw your ellipse and hit P. It's selected. Go to lens, fisheye, and look at that. And then let's bump it up a little bit more. And then go frozen. And what I like about the lens effect, it's still there. You can go again. You know, you don't have to stay with this one. So that's what he was wanting to do. He wanted uh, cross patterns in the in the uh, between the dots, and it was just taking it forever. Anyway, I hope that answered his question, and thank you for watching.